Hello my friends and welcome to episode 14 of our Football Manager 2019 Let's Play with Glasgow Rangers. Today we are taking on Real Madrid at the Bernabeu. Some interesting situations since then. Since the last game we played Benfica, uh, we won 3-1 against St Mirren. Um, goals from Isaac Golton and Cameron Carter Vickers. Golton also scored an own goal for St Mirren to get a good goal there. We then played Hibs, Camberry opened early, we equalised, they uh, went ahead again, sorry, no, we went ahead rather, through Mazrek, Camberry equalised, and then from there we never looked back. Some fantastic goals in this pro, uh, game, but Mazrek with a brace, Casey Palmer with a brace, Hector got an own goal, but the game was done by that, at that point. Anyway, uh, then we played Kelly, we won 2-0, uh, Greg Taylor own goal, and Jordan Rossiter on the score sheet there. We then lost 2-0 to Leon, and it was just a poor first half performance to be honest. We played actually fairly well overall. Leon were the stronger side, I'm not going to deny that, but I think we could have maybe came back in and got a goal, but Connor Golden got injured here, which is a bit of a blow for us. We then played Hibs, we drew 0-0, we just didn't have the confidence, and then we needed to rebuild. And we played uh, Hearts, between these two games Alex Werner got injured in training, so Bogdan came in, Isaac got injured in the game, Shanklin came on for him, scored a brace, and will now lead the line against Real Madrid for a man who was at air six months ago, just not that long ago since he was told he wasn't going to be good enough for Aberdeen, he's now leading the line against Real Madrid at the Bernabeu. What a success story he's been. I'm going to quickly get straight into this game, select the team, and I'll see you pitch side. So how we line up against the at the Bernabeu starts with Adam Bogdan in goal. Not had the best latter part of his career, but he has to be in today. I was tempted to go with Robbie McCrory, but I just thought, you know what, that's maybe putting fuel on the fire. We've got Leon Bailey at left wing, which is actually quite interesting. Uh, we've got Juranovic at right back. Carter Vickers in for the in injured Connor Goldson. and Mark Reynolds on the bench is the only other options. Tyler Browning has been playing in the league. Nicole Katic, the man who offers us an aerial threat from corners in at the other side, along with the... Perfect delivery of Borner Barisic. Ross McCrory takes the captain's armband in the holding midfielder role with Madrek in for fitness reasons over Arfield who makes the bench with Jadas in the midfield. Jones takes a midfield spot. It was very, very close between him and Madden. Neither have been put in great performances recently but gave him a warning so I'm kind of hoping that he steps into the plate today. Solomon on the left with Lawrence Shankland up top. Dapo Mabudi only played a few games for us. Makes the bench against Real Madrid because there's no other options there and to be honest if this game goes at any point I will be very very tempted to throw him in just to give him the game time because he's putting in good training performances developing nicely um, so I'd be quite curious to see how he can go on Leon Bailey on the right hand side the game said he was going to be on the left which I thought was interesting Bogdan's distribution absolutely awful there well, I'm just going to give a bit of encouragement early on get a couple of fired ups and one frustrated but encouragement doesn't tend to work too well in this game i mean if we're coming to the bernabeu and take any sort of point it'd be huge for us so you know it's just about getting what we can excuse me getting what we can here uh, a bit of praise there gets no response apart from an overwhelmed from bogdan uh, we do go up to second in the group that'll be on uh, head to head against Inter Milan, oh. eh, not head-to-head -head against Inter Milan, head-to-head -head against Benfica rather, Bale, Marcelo, brings it forward, this attacking talent that they have at Real Madrid, over for Nika Kovacic, stepped in well by Borna Barisic, launched forward for Shankland, finds him, he's got Jordan Jones, it's never going to get to Jordan Jones, Marcelo marshalling that defence well, Bale, Andre Silva, it's, we're in trouble here. It's in for Bale. It's in the back of the net. We look to counter one poor pass. And they're in behind us. And we're in trouble right from the moment to get the ball here. If you look here, we've got they've got three players bursting forward. We've got nobody really trying to get back. McCrory even holds his run. Carter Vickers dragged out of position. And then both him and Katic dragged to the ball. He should have been taken in Katic's position for me. Katic just came across to cover for him. He needs to then go and cover for Katic. 
and that wouldn't have been quite such a bad incident, but nonetheless, where I go down, at the Bernabeu, it's not a disaster by any stretch, but it's disappointing in the nature of how it's happened. Solomon, Jadis, Sergio Ramos preventing it from getting to Shanklin, Solomon, Mazrek, Jordan Jones, marked really well there by Marcelo, Asensio brings it forward, launches forward for Andre Silva, Um, out of possession. Let's just bring this line back a bit. Um, and we need to be playing an offside trap. And I can't confirm these tactics because somebody's a... Uh, can I skip? Why can't I confirm my tactics, guys? There we go. Somebody signed into Steam initially, so the, I couldn't see the button to hit it. But then... <clears throat> we had issues there. Barisic. Ah, it's cleared away. It's two counter-attacks from them, which is really frustrating because they should be it should be us countering them, not the other way around. Yeah, assertive, terrible, that'll do, gets reaction that I wanted, so I think it's harsh, but it gets us the reaction we want. So what can we do to change things? Bench wise we've got our field. That's really it. Marcelo and Bale linking up well. Bale bursting into the box again. Straight at Adam Bogdan this time. Goalkeepers is a big issue for us. You know, McCrory's not ready yet. We've got a couple of lads out on loan who all have potential as well. But they're nowhere near ready for this level. We need to be getting a goalkeeper in the summer. I tried again for Rykovic. Uh, work permits turned down again. Um, I reported uh, the work permit system in Scotland as a bug. And SI are saying are looking into it. So that's a positive for us. Um, let's bring on our field for Jadis because uh, he's starting to tire and we'll swap them around uh, hopefully our field can come on and offer that spark that we need they've made two of their subs already uh, next sub for us is going to be Antonio Marin we're going to bring him on on the left this time give him a run out on the left hand side as an inside forward see if that gets a better performance out of him they've got a free kick deep oh my days We've gone to sleep, boys. Just went to sleep completely. Number 31, losing his man. I don't know who number 31 is off the top of my head. That is not good enough. We're going to just bring on Dapple Mabudi, give him some game time for Lauren Shankland. Um, there's no real point in us trying to, you know, force um, a more experienced player to play in this situation. Let's just bring a kid on, let him have the experience of playing against Real Madrid as Arfield takes a dig from range. Their defensive positioning is much, much more defensive than what I expected out of a Real Madrid side here. Katic, Marin, oh. Case Miro, you know, all their goals, apart from that free kick, have been on the counter. And when you see us with the ball, all their players, apart from maybe one or two, are right in that 18-yard box. It's almost like playing Livingston. Just, they've got world-class players as uh, Meral shows. Russ McCurry will take the ball off him and he takes it straight back. Um, they've got world-class players compared to Livingston, uh, you know, taking in the box with sort of average players. as Bogdan, no idea what he's doing there. And Barisic as well. You know, as much as they've been good on the counter, we've not helped ourselves at all here. It's been us helping them more than them outplaying us. Bogdan with a decent save there. Um, but it's good experience for guys like McCrory and Mabudi as Katic goes close. Ah, he's such a monster in there, Nicolo Katic. Courtois launches forward. And it's Barisic who keeps it for us. Mazrek. Not the best bit of play from Mazrek there, but it works. Marin. Back into Barisic. Mazrek. We're in the right sort of area. First time cross. No. Marin. Oh, he's done him. Antonio Marin gets us an away goal at the Bernabeu. It doesn't really count for much at um, the group stage, of course. But really good play here. Out on the left wing. Just 
really good work. Barris, it's, it's sort of a first time cross. It's not what I anticipated, but Marinen gets past his man, takes a strike, and the man who'd be signed from Dinamo gets it in the back of the net. 3 1 is not the worst result when we go to the Bernabeu, and I feel there was more to be had here. You know, they're a very, very good side. But all the goals that we conceded were our downfall, not rather than them outplaying us. You know, two counter attacks, which were really good counter attacks, but defensive positioning was an issue. And then one extremely good free kick where we fell asleep, in all honesty. But we did score, and we did compete. So that's all I can ask. I'm curious to who their manager is and what his tactics are because uh, that was not a performance that I would expect from a Real Madrid side against a fourth seed team. Uh, who is your manager? What is his tactics? So we've got... They've not got manager just now. They are managerless. Um, so I assume it's Paolo Sanz who is... Playing mentality, very cautious, and that was very evident in that game. Very evident. So, I think when we play them next, we're going to go for it. We don't have the Celtic game today. We ended up in the Betfred Cup semi-final, which meant that that game got rearranged to... It's not even that one. I think it might be this game, you know. Um, it's one of these two games that's been rearranged for. So, we play... Celtic away at New Year, and then we've got two home games with them before the split in February and March. League table-wise, we're doing okay. We're seven points off the top. They're unbe they've not even dropped a point, to be fair to them. It's difficult to maintain pace with that. Um, so, next episode, we're going to come back for Aberdeen. In fact, we'll just come back straight away for Real Madrid. So, it'll be Real Madrid this episode, Real Madrid the next. And then probably Leon. I think that makes a lot of sense, guys. Um, despite the result, hit like if you enjoyed this episode. Um, if you didn't enjoy it, hit the dislike button. That's fine as well. Uh, leave a comment if you like, and hit subscribe if you're new, and I'm hopefully catch you all next time.